going to the car boot sale to go and find some mania bargains. Oh yeah, perfect. Three pounds, is it? Three quid? Yeah. What's that? That's not three pounds. Oh, that's what you're fine for that. How about the, this guy? That's a pound, man. Quid? Yeah, that's a pound. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got to find something. Well, wow, those bad boys. For real, Mr. Uh, uh, I can change it, hello. Oh, go on then, may as well. Go <laughs> oh, check him out. I don't know what to build him into yet, but we'll see. <laughs> so, we just got back from the car boot sale over in Battersea, and I'm guessing it was the start of the year. It's been a bit of a dodgy one. There wasn't that much stuff there that I could think of making things with. Next time I'm going to go a bit more prepared and I'm going to plan it out and kind of think of loads of different things to make. But, you know, this is the first in this part, so whatever. I set a budget of £10 and I went out to go and get as much as I could. But, it being London, you can't get that much for £10 in a car boot sale. I couldn't even spend all of it. I ended up spending... I've got about four quid left, so I only actually spent six quid. So, what did I get? First thing was this. Banana. Oh, 20p, got a whoopee cushion. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I will find a way of making this into an electronic musical instrument. You see, okay, what else did we get? Oh, this. Okay, you say it's just a glass bowl, but sounds pretty. This was only about 20p as well, so that was good. But this was the piece de resistance. This guy. Oh, ain't he lovely? Let's just check your teeth in there. Oh, oh geez, he's moving. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this because it's so unpredictable. We'll save that one for a future thing. I'm going to try and get as many of those as I possibly can and see what I can do with them. I'm going to try and make a song with them. Car boot sales in the winter aren't exactly what I was hoping for, which is a bit sad. I mean, there was loads of clothes. I should have bought a load of clothes and made like a clothes synth. Well, next time I've learned that I've just got to be more creative when I go to a car boot sale. I feel so bad for him, I don't want to take him apart. I've got another plan for him, so I'm going to save him for another video. He's going to he's gonna wait, so say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Why would I buy a second hand whoopee cushion? <laughs> I have no idea. So it's pretty obvious what I'm going to do with this and this. I'm just going to glue on a piezo speaker. And I'll show you how to do that really quick. I've got some piezo speakers in this box. What they are are basically just little, really thin, simple, like fuzzy speakers. When you play with music for them, they sound all tinny and nasty. But what we're going to use these for is literally just a mic. You usually get these in cards, like birthday cards and stuff. So all you have to do, the outside ring is usually the negative. This inside piece of plastic is usually where the positive is. I'm just going to wire it up to a jack socket. I've got black nails, I've been painting all day. Well, for the whoopee cushion, I don't know where to put it. Stick it right on this blowhole. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get a bit of super glue. Stick it right on it. Lovely. And now I guess I'm going to get the jack socket, stick in over here. Ooh. I wonder if anybody's ever made an electronic whoopee cushion. Did you ever think in your entire years of existence, you will see an electric whoopee cushion. We'll see how it sounds in a mo. Next thing is I've got this. This uh, big old uh, bowl. I don't want this to ruin its like, its very nice qualities of dinging. And also I don't want the wire to be coming out the top. Put a bang on the bottom maybe. Super glow on the old piece of speaker. And then, lovely jubbly. And put the jack on there. Oh, he's a slippery sausage. And that's the second one. Look, an electronic. So we're back with the most expensive part of this car boot sale thing. The extremely impressive. You can already make it into a musical instrument, but I'm going to try and take it a little further by circuit bending it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the speaker out into a jack that you can plug in. And I'm going to put a, maybe a knob on it. I'll just have a look inside and see what there is. Off their rocker. So what we got inside there? Ooh, that's about the uh, faceplate. So about the buttons. Ooh, 
if you've never seen these before, this is like membrane buttons, and what they are is they're like slightly conductive, like rubbery stuff, and that makes connections between these two. And if you lick it, let's have a look on the other side of this circuit board. Ah, what we got? Oh, we got absolutely nothing on the back. Basically, all there is in this, if you can see, is there's a big black blob. That is usually what they do to cover up the little chip. What I'm actually going to do with these is see what happens when I get this wire. See what happens if I short any of these like um, resistors and capacitors. What you can find in these things is usually the resistor that is closest to the chip. If you replace this with a potentiometer, so I'm just going to pop this resistor off. Um, it says 104, so I'm, I'm guessing it's um, 100K. Got myself a 1M potentiometer. With that 1M, it's out of focus as hell. I'm going to get a bit of flexible wire, two colours maybe, which is what I've got. Flexible because I always find if it's if the wire is too hard, it tends to pull the actual copper traces off. Because all of this modern these modern circuits have got surface mount components, and they're usually quite shitty. So solder one of these wires on the centre like sticky outy bit. I'm going to stick the other one onto one of the other sides. Ooh, look at him! Wiggly, wiggly. And now I get the other sides. Solder it onto both bits of where the resistor used to be. So I'm just gonna... Let's see if it does anything. Ah, that hasn't done anything. I think I've got the wrong resistor. I can't seem to affect this pitch, which usually is, you know, quite a big thing in circuit bending, is affecting the pitch of these things by slowing down the actual clock inside the microprocessor making it, you know, slower at type, making the pitch come out, hence being lower. Sometimes these things are literally unbendable. You cannot get into it. It turns out like you can't adjust the pitch on this thing. You can't make it go You can't make it go crazy. It's just too modern. So what you need is a, a jack, big jack or mini jack, and make sure it's switched if you still want to use the speaker because then when you don't have something plugged into it it's still going to come out the speakers start with work out where you're going to drill but here where i want to drill a hole i've had a look on the other side to make sure there's nothing going to get in the way hey presto just uh ply it in okay. gonna work out with a mini jack and you plug it in and see which bit connects up to what um, Undo it. Have a look. Make sure it doesn't go to the ground, the side of the speaker you're putting to the actual tip of the jack. Ooh, sizzling. You find the ground bit, attach that to the other side of the speaker. Get the actual speaker and make the connection between the speaker and the switch of the jack. So when there's no jack in the socket, it just goes straight to the speaker. Like so. But we didn't get a circuit bent like toy out of this which is really disappointing but I guess every so often you've got to document failures as well I guess it's really sad because when you can pitch these down I thought these dim these minions were gonna sound demonic from the depths of hell I'm gonna be like <laughs> but sometimes you get these toys you open them up and they just don't work and so let's go and plug this one in as well so sometimes things are not always as easy as they seem. Like this circuit bent little minion toy. Let's see if it actually works to start with. It's not a circuit bent, but you can now put it through effects and whilst you're on stage. And it's all you have to do is just wire up the speaker. Right? Banana. That's one simple thing, wiring up the actual output of a circuit within a toy to a speaker. Easy peasy. What about this lovely, lovely beast of a, a ding bell? What it sounds like? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely, lovely. Oh. Go. It's 
Sorry. Dirk Sapizu. <laughs> what about Mr. Whoopi? He's only speaking to a Whoopi cushion. Oh, it's rubbish. That is rubbish. Here's a Whoopi cushion in a cave. It's rubbish. rubbish. Okay, okay. Whoopi cushion, complete failure. So yeah, that's Car Boat Sale Part 1. Hopefully the next one's going to be a bit more, you know, interesting. Hopefully it's not going to be as much of a failure. Anyway, 